Okay, we are in the jungles around our land and I have something from one really special with me today and that is Peepat because Peepat is a chief researcher at the Prince of Songkla University and his specialization is bats. I like to call him the Batman, right, of Thailand. And here behind me is something he set up to catch the bats. So Peepat, could you tell me a little bit about what this device is and how does it catch bats? Well, um, this is one of the um, bat trap, calling harp trap. Harp you meaning can, like you a... You can see, um, it looks like the um, harp. Like a musical instrument? Exactly. So this, comprised of this full frame of fishing line that gonna catch the bat. Then they fly along this part and then enter to this um, fine and small um, fishing line. Four layers of them and then they can stop because of their wing and then they fall down into this catching bat down here and don't get hurt or anything and then um, we're expecting is going to be very effective in catching insectivorous bat which is very highly diverse in our country about 110 species okay. so just to ask how many species of bat are there in total in Thailand estimated well, at the moment we got 146 species okay. recorded and 110 of them are insectivorous bats yeah about 80 percent okay and then this is the best equipment to catch them mm. there's another um uh, equipment which is mist net traditional mist net mm. this is very good for fruit bat ah, okay. but the fruit bat is only about 10, 20 percent of the diversity of bat in the country okay. so we're this expecting the... to get um something different from um the cave Mm -hmm. This is um, the jungle, so we, we probably have the woolly bat or tube nose bat, or something mm -hmm. like that. But we can guess that the, the other species then live inside the cave. They can come down here um, and feed inside yeah. this jungle, probably get stuck in this trap too. So, as you said, the bats fly down here. Think of yourself as a bat and you are flying down this path and then you come here and then you see these thin lines and you can see them but as you go through the first line and you do acrobatics and you turn around you go into the second one you still avoid the second one but maybe the third one but the third one fourth one your wings are stuck and you go down to the bottom and then down there you stay until researchers like Peepat can come and learn about the bat identify it and then let it go again right so tonight let's hope we can get some really cool bats in this heart trap 